This is the story about my 1500 milligram trip. This happened a few days ago. I got 40 pills out originally that I took, which is one gram, and then I took 20 more, which is 60, which equals 1.5 grams. I drank it with some water and decided that I was going to go on a little trip. So, about two minutes later, I started to feel a little bit funny, a little different, but not much. I would look off somewhere and then it would seem like it would take me forever to find, to realize what I was doing in the moment. I have to like keep on bringing myself back. Anyway, remember it's about like 30 minutes in. I start like my vision starts to get a little bit blurry, you know, can't really see anything. And then your coordination might be messed up. My coordination got really messed up. And whenever I took a step off of my bed, it was just like, ooh, I just wanted to fall back down. It was really really um, heavy it literally felt like i was carrying like three of me on my back yeah and like i've had it before but like it only made made me like lose balance but like this actually felt like something was literally like pushing on me started to see the smoke in the air you know you, you could start to see like even hear sounds, can hear and move. Like, I always like to watch the corner of my TV and see if I could see any differences. Or I look in a mirror like that. Just, just until you get going. Anyway. About an hour in, I was starting to feel the full effect. It was starting to get kind of louder. In my ears I started to hear people a little bit talking a little bit more. Um, somebody was starting to ask me questions. Like, I thought I was being, like, interviewed by, like, something. I don't know why. I don't know why I was being interviewed, but I was, like, felt so real and normal in the moment. I've only done 1,500 a couple of times, and I've only done more a couple of times. More than that a couple of times. But like, it's all about the same stuff. It's like, I look over there, and then all of a sudden I see all the smoke in the room gather together into one figure. And that figure is just... Watching me, slowly watching me go farther and farther into my madness. I really felt like that that figure represented what I'm willing to give in my life. I don't know why. It's weird to say it like that, but like, I don't know. I wanted to. But I seen like I started to see these like bugs cr crawling around everywhere and like kept on seeing like writing and like I would look at the wall and I would see like it would seem like I was like scrolling through YouTube or something like that. It's like I could like look at the look at the wall and I could just see like a video or like a thumbnail and then under it would be like a bunch of letters, but I couldn't understand what the hell they were saying. You know, it gets really messed up like that. So you just sit there and you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's real. Probably terrifying.
Anyway. Okay, that I was kind of like <clears throat> watching my TV and like whatever. And I started like seeing a bug crawl across the screen. And like I kind of like reached out and tried to grab it, but like it wouldn't, I couldn't grab it. So like I guess it was like it wasn't a real bug, but it was just on the TV, right? So like I changed the channel and it was still there. It was really, really weird. Spiders. I see them crawling up, like, right about here. Right in front of my head. And whenever you see that stuff happen, it just seems so normal. So it's, like, coming down. And then it's probably about, like, that big. But, like, to me, it just... In the moment, it seems so normal. So, like, as long as it doesn't touch you then it doesn't so then you don't go crazy right and then i always get itchy right after i do a big drop and then i drop it's like it's like a reverse reaction <laughs> to like cholinergics or something i don't know to anticholinergics it's like oh no you don't have a you have very low histamine you know so I just pump a lot of histamine into you I don't know but I was like getting kind of overwhelming and I swear to god like DXM gets way more overwhelming than this like I'd rather have DPA trips than fucking DXM trips, honestly. Well, I feel pretty good. DXM trips too, but at this point, I'm like, can't even remember what the hell I'm trying to say after every minute. I keep on forgetting. It's not even like I hadn't done it in a while either. It was just like I hadn't done it for like a week. At that point, and I usually don't do it. I do, I do, I don't not do it for that long at, at one point in time. But I know, like, these are freaking great. Unisom, they're so fucking good. I love them. So good. <gasps> anyway, I started hearing the voices get louder and louder and louder until they wouldn't present themselves, you know? So then I told them, so who the hell wants to, like, who wants to talk to me? And then I started hearing this one voice would get cl closer and closer and closer and closer and then I started talking to him and he would only he would only ask me like stupid questions like hey uh why are you on Benadryl and I'd be like because I just can't stop He's like why not I don't know why I just can't stop that's usually what most of my trips are about. It's like either my body trying to get me to stop or something trying to argue with me about stopping. Anyways. I was shaking in bed, but you know, you just do it. Over and over and over again until you eventually get tired enough to fall asleep. You know, and it took a while. It really did. It took 
really, really long time. It's crazy. Anyways, if you like the video, please mm. join r slash dph ghosts in my Discord. See ya.